there is nothing better than the feeling that you get once you track down your old time grail pen and you succeed at getting it. Well, I got three of them. Stick around and in this video, I'm going to show you all three of them. Hey there, welcome to the channel again. It's your host Amy from Pen Venture, and I am happy to have you all here for another Fun Pen Collection update video. And I like doing videos like this because I take a more personal approach and I like to interact with all of you guys. In this video, I'm going to show you three new Grail pens that I recently added to my Fun Pen Collection, one of which I already pre-owned and is getting back to the collection, but more on that story later in the video. Let's start first of all saying that there are no pens that are leaving the collection although there are a lot of pens and you can probably check all of them in the description of this video i have the entire list of fun pens that i currently own so let me show you the first one that i've got and the story behind this pen is that i first was introduced to this model by Stefano at Stilografica Corsani in Rome. It's a Mont Blanc and it's the first one that I've owned from the brand. And I think it's just the beginning of something great because I love some of their models, especially I would have to say that the writer's edition has a few pieces that I for sure will own at one point. This pen, I've been tracking it for the past two years. And although I've stumbled upon a few of them, I wasn't ready to pull the trigger on one of them. Let me stop talking and show you the pen. And this is my Mont Blanc 1912. Beautiful pen. I'm not sure if it's produced anymore. I don't think so, but I'm not an expert. And it is a safety pen. It has a retractable nib. And I found one in the nib that I like at this moment. And that is a fine point. It was pre-owned, but the previous owner took care of it. It doesn't have any major signs of use, scratches or anything like this, because this pen is made out of metal, which is lacquered. It develops scratches quite easy. And I am in love with this pen. I've been using it for the past two weeks or so and I'm happy that I finally got it. I'm going to have a video review for this pen soon. I will show you more details about it in that video. Let's move on to the second grail pen and this is where I would like to say from the beginning that this pen was actually bought from Penventure and now the owner decided to let it go. I'm more than happy to welcome it in my personal pen collection. It is Bologna Arco Verde by Armando Simoni Club and this is a pen from the Three Kings set, the Arco Verde. All of them Bologna Extras and each nib was individually grinded by Mark Bacchus. All three nibs are different, different grinds and I like the Arco Verde because this featured a medium cursive italic, which is stunning. Mark, thank you for doing this grind on this pen because it's gorgeous. Of course, we have a few tiny differences between your ordinary Arco Verde. We have a metal section, ruthenium plated, different cap band right here and different engraving on this ring right here a beautiful beautiful arco pattern which is aligning on point let me show you try to get that in focus and i have been using this pen for the past two weeks as well i can't wait to have a review for this one and show you what's really neat about the nib. Finally, the last grail pen on the list is a pen that I've owned and it's found its way back to me, which I think this time will forever stay in my personal pen collection. And that pen is the Danny Trio Short Genkai. If I'm not butchering the pronunciation of this Urushi lacquer, 
is Niji Meji Nuri, which is this beautiful green urushi with sparkles of different colors, but predominantly is silver. And it is gorgeous. It has a huge size 8 gold nib. And we do have a video review of this specific pen. I'm going to link it up here. You can check this one and you can see all of the details. Beautiful pen, beautiful, beautiful finish. The color is outstanding and it has a clip. This is something unique. Usually the Danish Rio Genkai doesn't feature a clip, but this one did. I am happy to welcome this pen back because I was feeling that I made the wrong decision of letting it go. Well, the only problem with this one is that I've seen that the Urushi lacquer has developed a few imperfections in the time it spent away from my collection. And I already inquired Michael from Taminuri Studio about this one. And probably we will have to send it to him and he will restore the Urushi lacquer on this pen. And I'm going to try to put a few pictures to see what's all about. And hopefully it's not damaged too, too deep and we still can fix it and cherishing it with a place in my personal pen collection. Well, those are the three grail pens that I recently added to my fun pen collection. And don't forget to stay tuned because we will have videos for at least the Mont Blanc 1912 and the Bologna Extra in Arco Verde from the Three Kings set. And probably we will do another review once the Danny Trio will be back from repairs. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite out of these three ones. If you want to find out which pants are in my personal pant collection, in the description of this video you will find the entire list of pants, including those three ones that I recently added to the collection. And I think this is it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to give the thumbs up and also subscribe to the Penventure YouTube channel by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from me, check this video right here and enjoy. My name is Emi and I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.